this is an agouti. I'd love to get one for the Avery. What do you reckon? One of them running around at the bottom of the pheasantasium? Today I am going to shift these three into their new home next door so that mummy who is sitting under there can have new babies in a few days so I'll put the camera down it's going to be a bit tricky to film in here trying to catch them in this small space and we'll put them next door into the pheasantasium I'm going to get some new friends Swins you waiting for your blueberries? They're sitting there. Come along. Wow, that was super easy, that first one. Um, this is the first batch of quail that Blanc and... Who's this? Who's this? Ooh. First batch where there's actually some of these pale quail that look like Blanc. All the other ones have been grey, like Sauvignon. So, I don't know if this is a female. Hopefully it is. Well, don't know if hopefully is the right word really. Don't want any more quail. Well, brothers and sisters breeding now, do we? Right, Swinny. New little friend for you. Don't eat it. Okay. And your other little siblings are running around over there. Your older siblings. Okay, so you ready? <coughs> Be nice, Swinny. So, the other ones are crawling in there. Oh, they've stopped now that I've started talking. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Oh, not going to say hello. Hello, Joe Star. Oh, you're all being grumpy this morning. Not poopy. Poopy always wants a scratch. Hello, Joe Star. Hello, Joe Star. Can you say hello to everybody? Joe Star. Joe Star. Oi, Joey. Joey. Go back up there. I think the quail's just gone behind the stump. Yeah, I don't want you guys picking on the new addition, okay? Plenty of room in this aviary for all of you. Although if anyone wants a <laughs> quail. Leave me a comment down below. Oh, it's over in the corner there. Swinney! Swinney! <coughs> Swinny! Quail looks like it's doing the pretend you're injured thing, which isn't a very clever thing to do when you've got a pheasant on your tail. Swinny! Behave, Swinny. You've been a good girl with the other ones. It's just the same, just a little bit smaller. Oh. Now, those of you not familiar with or comfortable with the way birds work, you might want to look away because this quail is probably going to get a little bit picked on for the rest of today. But eventually they'll sort themselves out, get their hierarchy in order, their pecking order, and all will be good. Unfortunately, that's just what birds do. Anyway, we'll go get your siblings so you've got somebody else to talk to, okay? Well, that one was fairly easy to catch too. That's its bottom, not its head. 
Right, where's your, where's your mate? Oh. Swinny, be nice. There you go, your sister or brother or whatever is over there. Oh, it's going to go straight over to the other quail. No, changed my mind. One more swinny, okay, behave. As I thought, the last one was much harder to catch, but he's ready now. This other one in here keeps pretending that it's injured whenever Swinny gets near, which is really silly. It's quite interesting, but very silly when they're getting chased by a bird that might want to eat you. If you look, in danger, if you look injured, it's going to try and eat you even more. All right. Come on. Who's that, Joyce? Right, swimming. Okay, seven of them in here now. Make sure there's seven when I come in later. Okay. Quail are really quite fascinating to watch. Alright, anyway, we better give you guys some food, eh? Clean your water bowl. Yep. What time of the day. Can you go see your sibling? Down to your left. Over there, look. Oh. As you can see, the grass that I exposed last week still hanging in there, all right? Or was it the week before? Sometime. It hasn't all been destroyed, so that's good. Get him, mate. Now that those three are out of here, it is time to get this place ready for babies. So we need to modify the water dish here. We will put pebbles in. So this is to stop babies from drowning in the water bowl, which they will do at the drop of a hat, give them a chance. That way they can walk in the water bowl and it not overcome them. The problem with that is you just got to keep an eye on it a lot more because it will dry out much quicker. Although it is winter here now, so nowhere near as hot, far less of the drying out going on and the evaporation. They seem to be getting on pretty good. A little bit of that. But, you know, to be expected. Quail running everywhere, it's going to be hard to keep track of them all soon. Agudi! Agudi! Run around the bottom of the pheasant tasing, cleaning up all the scraps. Where do I purchase one of these agoutis? Makes it feel much more open in here again now. That removed. While I'm at it, I'm going to do a few more things. Maybe replace these perches, which are getting a bit grubby. Just a bit of a tidy up in here. 
have a bit of a red rump cleanup.